Why did you agree to do this, this interview with the BBC? Um, I don't know, I like spontaneity. And uh, I don't know, there's, there's a lot going on, and it seems like I, I actually um, do have a lot of respect for the BBC. Um, Although sometimes I forget what the BBC stands for, you know. But uh, what is it? Just kidding. <laughs> you know um, what it stands for. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, so um, yeah, yeah. So there's there's a lot going on. Um, so I thought this might be a good opportunity to uh, answer some questions and um, you know, I guess uh, maybe get some feedback too. Um, what should we be doing different? Um, I know the BBC, for example, is not thrilled about being labelled uh, state affiliated media. Not, <laughs> not exactly. I mean, I was going to get to that later, but let's go for it now. It's officially objected to that term. Do you want yeah. to respond to it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're. I mean, our goal is simply to uh, have, um, to, you know, uh, to be as uh, truthful and accurate as possible. So um, I think there's. Uh, I think we're we're, we're uh, adjusting the label to be publicly funded, which I think is perhaps. Uh, not too objectionable. We're trying to be accurate. Uh, I'm not the BBC, but, <laughs> <laughs> but pu pub publicly funded is how the BBC describes itself. Okay, okay. It's, so that would be accurate. Itself. Uh, if we use the same words that the BBC uses to describe itself, right. that presumably would be okay. I'm not asking you for a yes or no, since you're not running the BBC per se. You're, but it's probably it seems to pass a, a reasonable reasonable. So you're so you're going to change those labels on the BBC Twitter feed and, yeah, also, yeah, and yeah, also NPRs yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. Right. Publicly funded. Yeah. Basically, that, that's, we're trying to be as accurate as possible. OK. Yeah. All right. Fine. Um, first of all, I just want to clear something up. Are you sleeping in the office here? I sometimes sleep in the office. Like? In the library. Five days a week? No, no. Three <laughs> days a week? I'm not here five days a week. Um, but uh, there's a, a library that nobody goes to. Uh, on the uh, seventh floor, and uh, there's a couch there, and I, some, I sleep there sometimes. Okay, okay. Um, in terms of the general overview, the reason why I think we've, you've agreed to do this is because you wanted to talk about the first six months as chief executive owner of Twitter. Um, yeah, it's kind of like whatever you want to talk about, you know. Right. So, how do you think it's gone? Well, uh, it's not been boring. <laughs> it's been quite a roller coaster. Uh, so, um, I mean, things are going, I think, you know, reasonably well. I mean, we're, we're, we've seen some all time highs in terms of total user time. So, uh, we, we passed uh, uh, 8 billion user minutes uh, per day, uh, which is a lot of user minutes. Um, so, um, yeah, so usage is up, uh, growth is good, uh, the site works uh, mostly. Um, you know, point, we have a few glitches here and there, but uh, the site is, is working fairly well. Um, and we're doing it with a small fraction of the original, you know, headcount. So, I mean, you, you mentioned outages there. There have been several. And we, we've actually spoken to an engineer who works at Twitter, and they yeah. said that the plumbing is broken here, and it's on fire, and there could be problems at any minute. Do you, do you, do you accept that? I mean, there have been a few outages, but uh, not for very long. And it's currently working fine. So you don't, you don't, it doesn't keep you up at night that Twitter might go offline again? Uh, at this point, I think we've got a pretty good handle on, on what makes Twitter work. Um, and uh, we're, we're also doing it with uh, 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 two data centers instead of three. So we used to have three data centers. Uh, we shut down one of them. So we we're uh, actually two thirds of the, roughly two thirds of the prior uh, compute capability. Uh, but we've made uh, so many improvements to the uh, core algorithm. In some cases, we improved the uh, core algorithm by 80%. So the actual CPU usage or computer usage is dramatically less. Um, so. Uh, but the results speak for themselves. Uh, the system, despite being at all-time highs of, of usage, is fast. It's responsive. It's more responsive than it was before the, before the takeover. Uh, and we've also added uh, long-form tweets. We've added, uh, you can now post videos up to two hours and soon videos of any length. Um, we've, we're rolling out our subscriber programs so, so people can 
content creators can uh, actually make a living on, on Twitter by having some of their content behind a paywall. Um, and um, we open source the algorithm, so there's transparency about uh, what tweets get shown, what, you know, what, what content gets shown versus not. Um, I think you say, like, what are you really going to trust? Are you going to trust uh, uh, some sort of black box algorithm from some other site, or are you going to trust the thing that you can actually see and understand? But you, do you accept that there are lots of engineers that are, are looking at, at the way that Twitter is built and, and the, the lack of engineers because so many have, have left and are worried about the health of Twitter? Well, I mean, there have been... Um, Many of these people have predicted that Twitter will cease to function. Their predictions have not turned out to be true. You know, um, insert Mark Twain you know, saying, you know, rumors about death are greatly exaggerated. Um, let's go back six months. I mean, we're literally on Twitter right now. Right. So it must work. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back six months and even further, further back than that. When you put that initial bid in, you then had a wobble. You kind of said, I actually don't want to buy Twitter anymore. Um, oh, oh, I mean, I mean, it really is quite entertaining. I mean, it's like soap opera. Uh, because uh, when I first made the offer, uh, the response was the, the uh, board adopted a poison pill. So they were like, hell no, you can't buy Twitter. We'd rather die. We'd like chew on cyanide before being, being bought. That was their initial response. And then, <laughs> and then you said, and then you said, actually, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> yes, so and, and, then, and, and, and then they said, no, you must buy us. Gun to the head. You have to buy us. I'm like, are you the same people who said you'd rather die than, than be bored? Doesn't that seem odd? So I guess, my, <laughs> I guess my question to you is, in terms of, you said that, you said that the reason was because of bots, because Twitter was filled with bots. Well, now, looking back yeah. at it now, was there a little bit of you that thought, actually, maybe I've overpaid. Actually, maybe I don't want to do this. I want, I want to get out of this. Be honest. Yeah, no, no. The, the, the problem was that the um, uh, publicly stated user numbers were in excess of the real user numbers. Uh, so, um, I've, I've heard you talk about that. Yes, you yes. Talk about that yeah, I, I, yes. Basically, looking back at it now. Was that the only reason that you wanted to pull out? Yes. That was literally, literally the issue. It's like, it's like let's say you um, uh, buy a warehouse full of goods, um, and you're told that uh, less than 5% of the goods in the warehouse are, uh, have, have, are, are broken. You know? um, but then you actually get the warehouse. You look into the warehouse, and it turns out actually 25% of the things are broken. You'd be like, huh, that's, uh, that's not what you said. <laughs> so then you changed your mind again and decided to buy it. Did well, you do that? Did you do that? I kind of had to. You, right. Did you do that because you thought that a court would make you do that? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the reason. Right. So you were still trying to get out of it, and then you just were advised by lawyers, "Look, I ha you're going to have to, we're gonna, we're, to buy this." Yes. Interesting. So you. Did, <laughs> so, yeah. So you. So you didn't. You didn't actually want to purchase it, even when you said you were going. You well, not at that you, price. You were going to, really. No, I mean, like, like let's say, like, I think the analogy is pretty, pretty close. Like, let's say, you know, it's, it's like you, the, there's a warehouse full of goods. Uh, they say the warehouse, uh, less than five percent of what's in the warehouse is broken. And then you look at, you, you walk into the warehouse, you say, actually, it's twenty-five percent. So you, you know, you might still want to buy what's the in that warehouse, but probably at a lower price. Not buying the stuff that's broken. So you, that, you didn't have an epiphany. You just thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy this. I might as well buy the bullet. Yeah. So, <laughs> then, <laughs> so then you walk. It's not in, super complicated. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure you've said that before. Oh, fair enough. Um, so then you you came into Q, a, Q, Q, a whole bunch of court cases. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said this in the BBC interview, blah, blah, etc. So you, you then came into Twitter with, with a sink. What were your first impressions? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, wow, this is a really nice office building. Uh, and uh, Expensive. Yes, a very expensive office building. Um, great decor. It's a lovely place. Um, and... Um, 
I mean, and, and definitely s s spending money like it's going out of fashion, uh, which isn't, it isn't quite going out of fashion yet. Um, so, no, I mean, I, I, the gravity of the situation is perhaps uh, not well understood. Of, of um, at, you know, at the point at which uh, the company, the, the tra transaction closed, uh, Twitter was tracking to uh, lose uh, over $3 billion a year. Um, so, uh, and had $1 billion in the bank. So that's four months to death. So this is your starting position. Uh, how would you feel? Pretty, pretty intense, you know? You also had to borrow quite a lot of money and pay interest on that too. Well, that's why part of why it was a $3 billion uh, run rate. So um, in, in rough numbers, a normal year, Twitter would do, say, let's say, $4.5 in revenue, $4.5 billion in, in cost. Um, I mean, it was really kind of like a non-profit. I mean, they'd run it at roughly, roughly break even. Now, but that's was, not a bank. That's not bankruptcy. You're not saving that no. company from bankruptcy. No, it's breaking even. But but then then the issue is that um, if you then add a billion and a half dollars in debt servicing, um, and have a massive drop in revenue, which we did, um, which was partly cyclic and partly you know political concerns and whatever. Um, so revenue, you know, call it dropped by. Over a third. It's not, and, and this is not just Twitter. Uh, you know, Facebook and Google have also seen some significant uh, advertising revenue declines. It was, it was a little. It's been a little higher at Twitter, but uh, most of the advertisers are coming back. So I think we'll just we'll be back where there's a cyclic demand, uh, drop, which is still pretty significant. Um, but but in, in rough numbers, uh, revenue dropped from four and a half billion to three, um, uh, and. Um, Expenses went from four and a half to six, creating a three billion dollar negative cash flow situation, um, and Twitter having a billion dollars in the bank. That's four months to live. So unless drastic action was taken immediately, this company is going to die and be owned well, by the banks. Let's talk about that drastic action because almost immediately um, you sacked a lot of Twitter workers. Um, yeah, and, and, and I, I spoke to them. It was very easy to speak to them. Uh, when it happened, and, and, and the way they said, mm -hmm. pretty much everyone said, is, is that it felt quite haphazard. It was. And it felt a little bit uncaring. Do you, do you, do you, uh, do I wouldn't you? say uncaring. The, 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 you know, the issue is like, uh, the, the company's either going to go bankrupt, uh, or if, if we do not cut costs immediately, um, this is not a, a caring, uncaring situation. It's like if the whole ship sinks, then nobody's going to drop. Right. Yeah. But. but a lot of people just lost their jobs like that, um, and 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 they weren't. What, they didn't what, even know they were. They they lost their jobs often. They just okay. were just, they were just so frozen let me out ask of you, their accounts. What would you do? Well, you might want to give someone some notice. I mean, you might. It's, by the way, I, I'm not running Twitter, but I know. But this is this is the criticism, and this is what actual this is what I staff members but, say. A but, little bit of notice, uh, you know. No, I understand. If you have four months to live, 120 days. In 120 days, you're dead. So how? So what do you want to do? How much are you worth? I don't know. But you, I mean, we're talking about around the two hundred billion dollar mark. I mean, it's not no. quite. You're framing it in in a way that that you know that it had a, had a few months to live. You're quite a rich man. Um, I sold a, a lot of Tesla stock to close the deal. I did not want to sell the Tesla stock. Okay. Um, do you, do you have any regrets on the way that some of the staff were let go? Uh, I mean, people were given, you know, three months of severance, some cases more. So, um, but, you know, we're, we're, like I said, the, the companies need to be run on their own cognizance. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, not, it's not so easy for me to sell stock, as you might think. I have to sell stock during certain periods. I can't sell stock during other periods. Um, so there's only, there are only brief windows where I can sell Tesla stock. And then this is often taken as some lack of faith in Tesla. And in fact, the, the, the Tesla stock sales caused the Tesla stock to plummet, uh, which is not good. Do you think those two were connected? Well, the, 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 the people couldn't, couldn't parse the difference between I'm selling Tesla stock because I have, I've lost faith in Tesla, which I haven't, or that it's desperately needed for Twitter. Um, OK, and then after that, after um, you um, let go of a lot of stuff, obviously Twitter became slimmed down a lot, and then you started making some more policy decisions. One of those policy decisions was to bring Donald Trump back. 
he hasn't actually tweeted yet. Right. Do you expect him to come back at any point? Like, have you have you spoken to him? I haven't spoken to him. Uh, I don't know. He may or may not come back. Uh, the, but the, but the point is that uh, Twitter should be uh, a town square that or, that is uh, gives uh, equal voice to you know the, the whole country and ideally the whole world. Um, it should not be a partisan politics, uh, you know, and and. The more of a partisan politics that are on the very far left of the spectrum. San Francisco Berkeley politics normally is quite niche, um, but if, if Twitter effectively acted as a megaphone for a very niche regional politics and, and, and megaphone that to the world. So, if in order for something to serve as a digital town square, it must, uh, you know, serve all people from all political persuasions, uh, provided it's legal. Um, so, you know, cl close to half the country uh, voted for Trump. Uh, I wasn't one of them. I voted for Biden. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you know, free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Um, and if at the point at which you lose uh, free speech, uh, it doesn't come back. I, th I think the issue some people have is that a lot of people were brought back. I mean, some people were brought back who. Uh, were previously banned for spreading things like uh, QAnon conspiracies. You have people like Andrew Tate who were brought back, who were previously uh, banned for things like hate speech. Do you think you prioritize freedom of, of speech over misinformation and hate speech? Well, you know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Um, who's the arbiter of that? Is it the BBC? Are you literally, literally asking me? Yes. Well, no, you, you, who are, is the, the arbiter? you are the arbiter on Twitter because you own Twitter. Yes, I'm saying who, who is to say that uh, one person's misinformation is another person's information? Um, at the point at which you, you say that there is, uh, this is misinformation. Like, who is but going you, but you to decide that? you accept that misinformation that? can be dangerous, that it can cause yes. real world harms, that it can potentially cause. Um, yes, yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? I, 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 I'm quite sure the BBC have uh, said things before that turn out to not be true. Correct. In, in its, whatever it is, 100 year history, I'm quite sure. Yes. Even if you aspire to be accurate, there are times when it will, you, you will not be. Right, but I, think, that, I think in the but, grand scheme of things, the BBC does, does aspire to be accurate. But you accept there has to be a line in terms of hate speech. I mean, not, you're not looking at total 100% unrestricted speech. Um, there's. Well, I mean, I generally am of the opinion that if, if, uh, if, you, if, if the people of a given country are against a certain type of speech, they should talk to their elected representatives and pass a law to prevent it. So, for example, you, you cannot advocate murdering someone. That's illegal in the United States, everywhere, really, I, I suspect. Um, so, uh, so there are limits to speech. Um, I mean, I, I guess taking your argument to a logical conclusion then, do you accept that there's more misinformation on the platform if it's not being policed in the same way? I, I actually think there's, there's, there's less these days because we, we've eliminated so many of the bots which were pushing scams and spam. Uh, and previously, previous management turned a blind eye to, to the bots because their bonuses were tied to user growth. And if, you vote, you're, if, you're, if your compensation is tied to user growth, uh, well, you're not going to look too closely at some of the users. That's part of the problem. So I think we've got less misinformation because we've, we don't have the bot problem that we used to do. Um, and we also have um, given a lot of attention to community notes, uh, which corrects, uh, with community itself, corrects misinformation. Uh, it's been very effective. Um, I mean, I would, I would only just add that, you know, we have spoken to people who, who have been sacked that used to be in content moderation. And, and we've spoken to people very recently who were involved in moderation. And they just say they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, is that well, what hate speech are you address? talking about? I mean, you use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, just a personal anecdote. Like, what do, do you? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. So you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that 
and not content like you it. don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I mean you know just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist. Those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is that I'm what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content, and I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's what I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. Use, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you and said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well, I only look well, at hang my, on a second. My you said you've following. seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I. Well, I, then I how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. And I'm asking for one example. Right. And and I, you can't I, give us a single I, one. And, and, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con a content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no no what I claim was. Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my Give me feed one or example. not, I mean, I, right? And you can, can name something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right. And as, as I already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Let, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content. And then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then would how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, wow. Co COVID misinformation. You Amazing. The COVID, you've changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed this COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Has asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, and then it then disappeared. Why, why do that? Well, COVID is no longer an issue. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations? And not reporting on that at all. And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy? Are you aware of that? This is a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't. <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. You want I'm to talk about the BBC? You too. All right, let's 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 talk about let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. Let's talk about something else. Narendra Modi. The BBC did a documentary um, about uh, Narendra Modi and his leadership during the uh, riots in Gujarat. Um, we then believe that some of those, some of that content was taken off Twitter. Was that at the behest of the Indian government? I'm not aware of that particular situation. So you're, you're, just, you're not sure? I, I, I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know about that, that, you know, what exactly happened with some content situation in India. The <clears throat> The, the rules in India for, for what uh, can appear on social media are quite strict. And we can't go beyond the laws of a country. But do, but do you get that if you do that, you incentivize countries around the world to simply pass more draconian laws? No. Uh, we, look, what, if, if we have a choice of either our people go to prison uh, or we comply with the laws, we will comply with the laws. The same goes for the BBC. Okay. Okay. Um, since you uh, became CEO, there's been another story in town. No, no, I, 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 I'm not CEO anymore. Okay, you're, you're chief twit, or what are you? No, no I, my my dog Floki is the CEO. Okay. Um, He's taken over. 
I, I, I saw that. Yes. Um, okay, so, so TikTok has also been in the news. There's talk of perhaps the Biden administration wanting to potentially ban it or, or, or force a sale. What, what's your view of the situation? I don't really use TikTok. Um, I mean, one of the reasons that I emphasize that the uh, uh, that our goal here at Twitter is to maximize uh, unregretted user minutes or unregretted user time is that I hear many people tell me they spent a lot of time on TikTok, but they regret the time spent. And that seems like okay. Well, we don't want to have regretted time. We want the time to be unregretted, where you learned things, uh, you were entertained, amused. Um, I mean, frankly, I, I you know I. I, I I get uh, more uh, laughs out of Twitter than anything else, and many people tell me the same thing. So that's a good sign. Um, for, for, for TikTok itself, like I said, I just don't know enough about what's going on there. Um, I can't say I have a strong opinion on TikTok. So you, so you don't have an opinion on, on whether it should be banned or not? You know, I'm generally uh, against banning things, um, so I, I'd probably not be in favor. I mean, it would it would help Twitter, I suppose, if TikTok was banned, uh, because then people would spend more time on Twitter and less time on TikTok. But even though that would be that, even if it would help Twitter, I would be generally against uh, banning of of things. Okay. Um. Do you feel sometimes that your many business interests might get in the way of you having opinion? I mean, for example, Tesla has major connections in China. Do you, 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 wouldn't, you, wouldn't have a, you wouldn't have a certain opinion on something or feel uncomfortable about saying something because of your other business what? interests elsewhere? Do, do I look uncomfortable? Yeah, actually, I do. I look uncomfortable. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, look, Tesla's got activities around the world and so does SpaceX. Um, you know, once in a while, those things do, do come into conflict, um, but it's not like Twitter's like uh, you know operates in China. It doesn't. It was banned in China. So, um, and certainly, I've, I've received no no communication whatsoever from the Chinese government with regard to Twitter. Okay. Um. In terms of advertising, obviously it's, the Twitter is not a private company anymore, so we don't really know how, how, it's, how it's all going. Have all the advertisers come back? Uh, not all, but most. And it, it, you can see it for yourself on Twitter, even in the For You feed. Right. I mean, in the sorry, following, in the following feed. Don't use For You because it sucks. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Filled um, with hate speech, I'm told. Um, that's not what I said. Okay, fine. Uh, well, why don't you use For You? What's wrong with it? Um, how is it going? Is, is Twitter in profit now? No, Twitter is uh, uh, rough. I'd say we're, we're roughly break even at this point. And I think you've said before you, you see a you see a world where you could be in profit. Is there a timeline on that? Do you think? I mean, I, depending on how things go, if current trends continue, I think we could be profitable. Or I mean, pro, pro, I say to be more precise, we could be cash flow positive. Uh, this quarter, if things keep going well. This quarter, as soon as that? I, I possibly, yeah. Wow. Um, and do you have a message for the advertisers? I mean, can you say which advertisers haven't come back? Um, I think I think almost all of them have, have either come back or said they're going to come back. There are very few exceptions. Can you say, say any of the exceptions? Um, I actually don't know of anyone who said definitively they're not coming back. They're all sort of trending towards coming back, but there are some that just I haven't. Jump in, the water's warm. It's great. That's that's your message to the to the advertisers who haven't come back. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you know, if if if, if Disney feels comfortable um, advertising, you know, children's movies, and Apple feels comfortable advertising iPhones, those are good indicators that Twitter is um, a good place to advertise. Um, I want to talk about. If you have any regret, regrets, and, and you know, I think you, you were booed at a Dave Chappelle concert. I think your own lawyer said a little, said, a little, a little. Well, some say a little, some say a bit more. Um, I, I think your own lawyer said you couldn't get a fair trial in San Francisco because there are lots of people that, that don't necessarily like you here. 
Yeah, but the, I, you know, I have to say, I, I was wrong. He was wrong, I guess, the, uh, because um, I was acquitted uh, by the San Francisco jury unanimously. So, yeah. But, but I guess, but look, do, and, yeah, do, do, no, do you have any regrets about buying Twitter? Um, I think it was something that uh, needed to be done. Um, I mean, you said it's, you, you it's said it's quite that difficult, you, you know. It's, uh, I'd say that, like, the, the pain level of Twitter has been extremely high. Um, this hasn't been some sort of party. Um, so uh, it's been really quite a stressful situation, uh, you know, for the last several months. Not, not an easy one. I, I um, but apart from the pain, I mean, y y so it's been quite painful. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, it, it, it should have been done. I think, did I, were there many mistakes made along the way? Of course, I'm, you know. Um, and. Uh, but you know, all's well that ends well, and so I, I, I feel like uh, we're headed uh, to a good place. Um, you know, we're roughly break even. I think we're trending towards being cash flow positive very soon, like literally in a matter of of, of months. Um, the advertisers are returning. Um, the I think the quality of recommended tweets has improved significantly, and we've taken a lot of feedback from uh, people that have looked at the open source. A recommendation algorithm, and we've we've made a lot of improvements even even since that was uh, made open source, and we're going to keep doing that. So overall, I think the trend is uh, very good. So uh, you know, I mean, I, it was actually something I was going to ask you. You mentioned the pain, but, but you actually tweeted, uh, I think in February, you said the the last three months have been extremely tough. I wouldn't wish that pain on anyone. Could, are you talking emotionally? That. I mean, yeah. I, can you can you can you explain? Well, I wasn't stabbed or anything. Right, right. Like but, some people around here, it's just dangerous neck of the woods we're in. It is. Or it can be. But just can you just talk me through the emotional strain of this? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm under. I've been under constant attack. I mean, uh, it's not like I, you know, have a stone cold heart or something like that. You know. Uh, if, if, if you're under constant criticism and attack, it's, and then that, that gets fed to you nonstop, including through Twitter, um, that uh, it's rough, you know? Um, now, now, at the end of the day, I kind of think that, like, if you do lose your feedback loop, that's, that's actually not good. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if, so I think it's, it is actually important to get negative feedback. Um, I don't turn replies off, and I actually got rid of. I, I removed my entire block list, so I don't block anyone either. Um, so, so somebody can, you know, so so I get like <laughs> a lot of negative feedback. Um, what, what, what's but been, I think what's it's actually your... good to get negative feedback, you know? right? Um, is it, when you talk about the the emotional strain, you've gone back to feedback. Is it, is that the thing that's been most difficult to take? The sort of negative feedback. Yeah, I mean, if if if, uh, if the media is writing nonstop stories about why you're a horrible person, I mean, it's, you know, um, it's, it's uh, hurtful, obviously. <laughs> Do you, I, I'm, I, I, I'm interested. I, 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 I've written down a lot of these questions, but but I haven't written this one down. But it's interesting. It feels like you have quite an, a kind of interesting relationship with the media, because in one in some ways you're quite skeptical, quite critical, certainly of. of established media, but also you, you kind of get hurt by what the media writes and um, you seem yeah, to... Well, you, some, you, I mean, you get your news still from the BBC, as you've already said. So I literally you, follow the BBC right, on right. Twitter. So, so do, 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 do you feel you have a kind of, a kind of odd relationship with the media? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, explain. No, it's, it, 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 it is somewhat of a love-hate relationship, although, I mean, it, it might be tilted a bit more towards the hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I think that this, this is a sort of part and parcel of having a, a, a free media situation, which is that, um, you know, I do, I do, I do take uh, heart in, in that the media is actually able to trash me on a regular basis uh, in you know, in the United States and the UK and whatnot. Um, whereas, you know, in a lot of other places, uh, you, you, the media cannot say uh, mean things to powerful people. Okay. But I think it's better that we have a, a situation where the media can say 
uh, mean things to powerful people. If we're talking about the media, let's talk about verification labels. You obviously want to create another revenue stream that's subscription-based. Is verification the way to do that? Because we have a kind of a situation at the moment where the New York Times doesn't have a verified badge, whereas well, anyone else who can pay the, whatever few, few bucks a, a month yeah. can. Is that, can that be right? Is that what you envisaged when you bought Twitter? I, I must confess to some delight in removing the verified badge from the New York Times. That was, that was great. Um, anyway, they're, they're still alive and well, so uh, they're, they're doing fine. But, but on um, a serious note, it could flame disinformation again if you have verified accounts that uh, are from anyone who can pay money. They simply they go up to potentially uh, the top of feeds. Um, they get more action on Twitter. And uh, traditional media that may not pay for uh, verification doesn't. Do you see how that could potentially be a driver of misinformation? Well, I mean, I, I think the, the media is a driver of misinformation much more than the media would like to admit that they are. Um, I mean, that's a different question. Yeah, um, but you are sort of saying, like, like who who knows best, the average citizen or, you know, uh, so, someone who, who is a journalist? Um, and I think in a lot of cases um, it is the average citizen that knows more than, than the journalist. In fact, I mean, very often when I see an article about some... Uh, something that I know a lot about, and I read the article, and it's like, they get a lot wrong. Um, and, uh, you know, sort of the best interpretation is there is someone who doesn't really understand what's going on in industry, has only a few facts to play with, has to come up with an article. Now, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to hit the bullseye. Um, uh, so, so then, like, generally, this is what, how I explain to other people. If, if, if you read an article about something you know about, how much of that? How accurate is that article? Now imagine that that is the, that is how all, essentially all articles are. They, they're, they're an approximation of what's going on, but but not in a, not an exact uh, situation. So if somebody is actually, let's say, uh, in the fray or the, like an expert in the field, and uh, was actually there, and then and writes about their experience of being actually there, I, I think that actually that that that's. Uh, in a lot of cases, going to be better than, than a journalist because the journalist wasn't there. I think you said the legacy verified blue ticks are going to go next week. Uh, there have been a few, a few deadlines on four, this. Four, 420. Yeah, I, I, I see the joke. Um, the, the, number will that number will never leave me. Uh, uh, I, clearly. Uh, uh, you know, I it, cost, it cost you a lot of money. Well, fortunately, it didn't in the trial. Well, yeah, right, for the, for the SEC, right? Yes, we're going to ask for a refund. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on from that. <laughs> but blue ticks, in theory, all legacy blue ticks gone, gone, gone next week. And this is, and at that point, you'll kind of work out whether this is going to sink or swim. Yes. What's your, what's your hunch? I mean, you've obviously... I think it's going to swim. Yeah? Yeah, it'll swim just fine. Okay. What are you looking for in terms of, uh, in terms of a revenue stream on that? What are your goals? Well, I, I don't know if it's like necessarily a giant revenue stream, um, you know, because even if you, have, if you have sort of a million uh, people that are subscribed for, let's say, $100 a year-ish, that's uh, $100 million. Um, and uh, that's, that's, a, that's a fairly small revenue stream relative to advertising. Um, but what we're, what we're really trying to do here with uh, verification is to massively raise the cost of disinformation and, and, and bots in general. Um, so my prediction is that any social media company that does not uh, insist on paid verification will simply be overwhelmed uh, by uh, advanced AI bots. I mean, chat GPTs essentially, a, a zillion instances of chat GPT. How is do you that really know? what you want on the platform? Do you want big news organizations being overwhelmed by bots so that they have to pay No, the point money? is that you, you won't be. If you pay. But a lot of organizations have already said they're not going to pay, like the New York Times. Well, then, you know, that's up to them if they, you know, can make them pay. Um, it's a small amount of money, so I don't know what, what their problem is. Um, so, uh, but uh, we're going to treat everyone equally. So what, what we're not going to do is say that there's some anointed class uh, of journalists who are the special ones who get to tell everyone what, they're, what, what, they, what they should think that it should be up to the people what they think. Um, and even if an article is 
completely accurate and um, comprehensive and everything. If they're still in, in writing that article, the media is choosing the narrative. They're, they're deciding what to write an article about. Um, so I'm hopeful that, the, that this can be more a case of the public choosing the narrative as opposed to the media choosing the narrative. But the media can choose narr at, least, at least a combination of the media and the public choosing the narrative. Um, and the, the public getting to, to weigh in on stories if they, if they think that they should add something to it or if uh, we've got something wrong. And over time, I think if Twitter is the best source of truth, it will succeed. And if, and if we are not the best source of truth, we will fail. Someone comes in and, and offers you $44 billion for Twitter right now. Would you take it? No. Would you consider it? No. Why? Uh, well, uh, I, I, I take it back. It depends on who. I suppose if, if I was confident that they would pursue, that w they, w they would rigorously pursue the truth, um, then, I, then I, I, guess, I guess I would be glad to hand it off to someone else. I don't care about the money, really, but I, I, I do want to have a, some source of truth that I can count on. Um, and and I, I hope that's our aspiration with, with Twitter is to have you know, a source of truth that you can count on. Uh, that's, that's, it's also real time. It's an, an immediate source of truth that you can count on and that gets more accurate with time as people comment on a particular thing. Well, if you don't care about the money, you could just give it to someone that you, that you think is uh, you know, a good person to run Twitter. Who do you think that might be? I, I, I'm not the okay. boss of Twitter. No, but it is, well, that's, you might still have an idea. Well, who, who could run Twitter? Yes. I, I, honestly, I have no idea who could run Twitter. Yeah, it's a hard job. Okay, let's, I mean, let's move on to, you said that you were going to um, stand down. As I already have. Chief Executive, right. Okay. I, have I, you, I keep have telling you, I'm, have, I'm not the CEO of Twitter. My dog is the CEO of Twitter. Okay. Have you got, <laughs> have you got any... It's a great dog. Other than the He's dog. very alert, and it's hard to put, get anything by him. Okay, that's good to know. Other yeah. than the dog, have you got any successes Look, in mind? He, he's got a black a turtle turtle neck. I mean, what more do you need? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're going down that, that, that route. Um, <laughs> Steve Jobs or Elizabeth Holmes, are you making reference to? Uh, I guess more Elizabeth Holmes. Okay. <laughs> I've forgotten the question now. He's got a husky voice. <laughs> and a black turtle neck. Um, Problem solved. What were we talking about there? Uh, yeah, uh, who, would, who, who would you want? Have you got a successor in mind? Oh, not yet. Hopefully at some point. Right. So, Because you did say you were going to stand down. Well, I did stand down. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on from that then. All right. What about this office? I'm intrigued about this office. You, you said it was expensive. Why do you even need expensive. a CEO? You don't really need a CEO. Yeah? Yeah. Well, why can't we be um, an anarcho-syndicalist uh, commune? I think Jack Dorsey kind of recommended oh, yeah, doing true, that and true. kind of ignored it. Yeah, it was kind of that, actually. Hmm. Um, this office, are you thinking about moving out of San Francisco? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. No, I mean, this place is nice, and uh, we, we, you know, I kind of like this office building, actually. Yeah. Okay, so you're not, because I know you've talked about there's been high levels of crime here. You, you actually said at one yeah, point Yeah, I think we should thought, do something about the crime. Right. You've also People talked, are dying. Right. <laughs> we should take action. You've also talked about how potentially, I think you might have been joking, but you could m turn this into a homeless shelter. So yes. the, the, I guess the reason but, I'm asking is, you know, you've... you've which we tried to, to turn into a homeless shelter and the building, the building management, the building owner rejected it. You, you tried to... Yeah, they won't let us. Which bits, uh, which bits have you tried to turn into a homeless well, shelter? We're only using one of the buildings, and so the other building could be a homeless shelter. And you've tried to... Yeah, we would like to do it right now. Really? Yes. And no, they you're being stopped by who? By, by the building owner. They won't let you? No. In fact, they wouldn't even let us take the W off the sign. So how were you going to do they're that? They were quite, quite uh, you know... What was, your, what was your plan for the shelter? I don't know. We could just let people stay there. It's nice. Right. Okay. I, I didn't they know bring, that. They can, they can bring their stuff, bring the tent, whatever. Right. And it's a roof over their head. Yeah. If the building owner lets us, we'll do it. Yeah? So if the building only let, owner lets you, you would, you would happily do that? Yes. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, 
What's the most difficult thing you've had to do? What's the hardest thing you've had to do? In my whole life? Or? In the last six months. Oh. We're, we're, talking about, <laughs> we're talking about the last six months as you as, as Twitter boss here. And twi Twitter owner. Um, well, shutting down uh, our one of our service centers was, was quite difficult because it turns out there were, uh, I, th I thought the service centers were redundant, uh, but uh, there were, in fact, a lot of things that were hard coded to this one server center. And so when we shut it down, we actually, uh, it was quite catastrophic. We lost a lot of functionality, in which we sort of really rushed to put it back. When was that? And that was around late December, Jan early January. So that, that was the biggest sort of, I'm, I'm worried here. Big, biggest crisis, yeah. Yeah. And what about hard in terms of emotional? I mean, how, I mean, just letting go. I mean, what, what were the current the, st the levels of staff, and what are they now? Um, I think we're um, around fifteen hundred people at this point, and there was I think seventy eight hundred. What was that? Say? I, I think it was around just under eight thousand, and 8, we're about fifteen hundred right now. Okay, and it, has it been hard letting that many people go? Yeah. Not fun at all. It's painful. I mean, I guess in in what way do you do you feel like you need to speak to people when they when when they leave? Or I mean, it's not physically possible to speak to that many people. Mm. Mm. Has, has that? I mean, you talked about that being the most technical bit. Is that has has that been sort of the hardest thing emotionally, or is, is it? Is it's one of the hardest things, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Nancy Pelosi tweet. <laughs> we'll oh, go right back to the start. Jesus. <laughs> but there have been, that is an example of a few, and there have been others. Um, that, do, do you feel like you're an impulsive person? I mean, have I shot myself in the foot with tweets multiple times? Yes. Do, do you feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I need bulletproof shoes at this point. You've d I mean, you've definitely done that. The issue is that you're now a Twitter owner. Do you, do you feel like you should be. look at your tweets more? You have more a higher responsibility? when you tweet something out for it to be accurate? I think I should not tweet uh, after 3 a.m. That's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe 2 a.m. That's the new rule. Yeah, something like that. OK, so there's a blanket ban. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Uh... What, are your Twitter, what are your Twitter rules? I mean, I've, I've had some people say, never tweet when you've been drinking, or never tweet when angry. What are your Twitter rules? Well, I think those are two good rules. Yeah, don't tweet if you're wasted, um, and uh, or, or you know really upset about something. Um, yeah, uh, pro probably. Uh, I mean, a good friend of mine um, ha actually had a good suggestion, and it has helped, uh, which is that uh, if you're going to tweet something that uh, maybe is controversial, uh, save it as a draft and look at it the next day and see if you still want to tweet it. And that has been a good rule of thumb. Okay. So I've got a bunch of things in my draft <laughs> folder that I'm glad I didn't send. Um, I can't remember whether I've asked you this. This is my sort of sort of wrapping up at this point. But yeah, do you do you have any regrets? Uh, I, I mean, I, it was always like hindsight's twenty twenty. So that, you know, a uh, bunch of decisions that could have been made better for sure. Um, but um, you know, as I said, all's well that ends well, um, and things are going pretty well. So. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, I, I can't complain. Okay, um, I'm going to just check my my list of things to make sure I've actually. Asked I mean, it's maybe this is something that people on the on the <laughs> Twitter want to say. Ask, you know, we could ask them. Uh, that's on you. That's on you. I'm, wow, I'm the, not, there's 680,000 people listening. There you go. That's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, let's see. How do we see? Okay, let me see. Who, I'll I'll just look at my my tweet and uh, see what people are saying or what questions they have. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the BBC? Do you like BBC? Okay, yeah, we're not going to do this. <laughs> oh, I can't interview you. I work for the BBC. So well, if you like, do you like BBC? I know. I see what you're doing. I'm not going to respond to that. Okay. <laughs> I think we can finish the interview there. If you want to, if you want to continue, thank you very much. Well, you know, well, for come doing on. This. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Sure, you like BBC. Come on. 
Um, I'm not engaging. <laughs> All right, Elon. It honestly, has been a pleasure okay. talking to you. Well, it same. really has. And if um, you want, if you want to carry on answering questions on on on, on this, then, then go for it. But I'm not, I'm not going to. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to figure, see if there's like any you know good. There's a lot of comments here. Um, I can imagine. Um, there's so many. Anyway, so anyway, it, it's it's nice to be interviewed by the BBC. I have a lot of respect for the British Broadcasting Corporation. Um, when did, did you say when the when the actual label is going to go public? Oh, <laughs> is it um, is it? Do we still say state media or whatever? Oh, it says government funded media currently, um, uh, as opposed to publicly funded media. Uh, well, I guess probably we can make that change tomorrow if you like. I, it's. Up it's up to you, <laughs> journalists. It's up to you. But I mean, do, I do, we'll, we'll expect that tomorrow. I mean, do, do you have any requests on a personal level, or you can speak as, on a personal level? No, I don't. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think we've established that. Um, Go on, what, 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 what questions are people asking you? Go on. Um, I mean, there's like a lot of comments. Uh, let's see. I was literally reading on, re looking at replies to. That, you know the fact that I, the, the space is. Um, are there any good questions that I've missed out in the last, in the last six months? I'm sure there are many. Um, I mean, people generally seem to like this interview, from what yeah? I can tell. Um, very few negative comments are generally positive. Is that is that um, that's probably bad for me? <laughs> if, if I don't know, I'm, I'm, really just, I'm, I'm scrolling as fast as I can it. to sort of see, uh, <laughs> I guess the, there's some complaints about Twitter spaces being needing some improvement. Let's fix Twitter spaces is one of the comments. Um, <laughs> people like the fact that my dog Floki is the CEO. Um, and uh, I'm really just scrolling as fast as I can here. Um, I, I, I think my, I, see, I guess my reflection on this. On this <laughs> I'd just like just to say I like BBC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it funny. Um, I, I, I think I mean honestly, if, if looking, listening to the interview, the, the answer about misinformation and saying, oh, we don't police misinformation in the same way, but we, we because, do because, because we try and get bots, yeah. because we try and take down bots, we'll be effective at bots. We got, we're actually there's actually less misinformation on the platform. Okay. No, I, mean, I think that's I, I a big like, factor. Cause, cause, I'd like to ask you one more question on that because sure. that is quite, a lot of people I think will be listening to this and sure. thinking, really, you're, you're, you're arguing you can police content moderation far less and end up with less misinformation. How, how, no, how well, first of all, we do have we do have uh, uh, you know people working on contract uh, content moderation. It's, it's not like we don't. Um, so. Uh, many, I've spoken to lots of people who've been who've been fired. So lot, lots of people have been let go. I mean, you've gone from eight yeah. to fifty. The censorship, the censorship bureau was let go. Um, I don't think people, the, the the sort of putting a thumb on the political scales on the far left has been let go because that's not right. That's not what you want for a public a public square. Um, you know, you've got to have equal treatment for people from um, across the political spectrum. So, um, you know, some of them are going to be upset about that. Um, but I, like I said, I, my, my, my experience is that there's less, less, less misinformation these days, not more, um, and that the community notes feature is extremely powerful for uh, addressing uh, so-called misinformation. Um, I mean, you've, been, you've had community notes placed on your own tweets. Yes. Um, One of them involving a, an alleged diamond mine? Diamond mine? One, a mine that... What diamond mine? A, a mine that, that your father part owned? Yeah, my father never owned a, a diamond. Uh, <laughs> so you're thinking of an emerald, emerald mine. Emerald mine. Yeah, I'd like to see a picture of this alleged emerald mine. Because you've been you've been community noted on that tweet. Yeah. Did you know that? No, but it's he, he never owned a, 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 a emerald mine. This is total bullshit. Not even a fifty percent stake. No. Because in community notes. But no, first of all, okay. okay do, do, do you think emerald? Do you think do you, something like an emerald mine would, would have like, um, you know, uh, some sort of property register? There'd be like a picture of it. It's not like you can say, oh, that's my mine. You know, they're, they're, these things are hotly debated. If you've got something valuable, um, you, <laughs> you, you have to have some property record, like a house.
but, but much more important than a house. And yet there is no property record whatsoever. There is no picture of this mine whatsoever. It doesn't exist. It's fake. So, that's, so it's a really good example then because there is a community note on that tweet that says, you said this thing on the X day, blah, blah, blah. So in that instance, the community notes didn't work. So you're saying that that's a way of solving misinformation, but you're literally saying one of those community notes is wrong. In the community, community note may be referring to a thing where uh, I, I went on a trip with my father to Zambia, um, but I never saw any mine or anything. So there's no, it's, there's no mine. I'm not like, right, but at this point I'm just saying the community notes says it is. So you're saying it's this bit great panacea, but yeah, it's literally on your own tweet, the community notes, uh, according to you, are wrong. Uh, if, if they're referencing um, an article, then the article may not be wrong, but they're still rep they're representing. Anyway, the uh, community notes is not going to be perfect, but I, the, it's the batting average of community notes I found to be extremely high. Right. Um, so. So community notes plus getting rid of millions and millions of bots every day, I guess. That's, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. That, that, that's what you think is tackling misinformation over, over content moderation. And I think because I think, I think that's the bit that a lot of people will go, re really? Really, yeah. yes, really. Now, look, the acid test is people use the system and find it, find it to be a good source of truth, or they don't. And no, no system is going to be perfect uh, in, in its uh, pursuit of the truth. Um, but I think, I think we can be the best, the least uh, inaccurate. That's our goal. The least inaccurate. And I think we, we I, I think we might be there already. If we're not there, we'll be there soon. Do you have, I've, I've spoken to people who think this. Do you, do you have a, a kind of message for people who, who think that Twitter has been ruined? Well, we have all time high usage, so I don't think it has been. And some people, and, some people think it has been. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. Yes, well, they're probably the same people who predicted that Twitter would, would cease to exist, and their predictions have t turned out to be false. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to ask you whether you think it's been ruined, because obviously you, you, you're not going to No, I think it's great. Yes. It's way better. <laughs> um, better by a lot.